Now let's talk about composition of intracellular fluid and extracellular fluid. The compositions of intracellular fluid and extracellular fluid are strikingly different. As I already said, the major cation in extracellular fluid is sodium, and the balancing anions are chloride, bicarbonate, and phosphate. Sodium creates the most osmolarity of the extracellular fluid. The major cations in intracellular fluid are potassium and magnesium, and the balancing anions are either proteins or organic phosphates. Other notable differences in composition involve calcium and pH balance. Typically, intracellular fluid has a very low concentration of ionized calcium, whereas the calcium concentration in extracellular fluid is higher. Intracellular fluid is more acidic, has a lower pH than extracellular fluid. Remarkably, given all of the concentration differences for individual solutes, the total solute concentration in extracellular and intracellular fluid is the same. Therefore, the osmolarity is the same in intracellular fluid and extracellular fluid. We have 300 milliosmoles per liter outside and 300 milliosmoles per liter inside of the cell. This equality is achieved because water flows freely across cell membranes and any transient differences in osmolarity that occur between intracellular fluid and extracellular fluid are quickly dissipated by water movement into or out of the cell to reestablish the equality. In addition, you have to know that extracellular fluid consists of two subcompartments interstitial fluid and plasma. Because the plasma and interstitial fluid are separated only by highly permeable capillary membranes, their ionic composition is similar. The most important difference between these two compartments is a higher concentration of proteins in a plasma. This is because the capillary wall is not permeable to the plasma proteins, and this is the reason why the plasma protein serves as an effective osmols for the vascular compartment. Only tiny amounts of proteins are leaked into the interstitial spaces in most tissues and then will be sucked back by a lymphatic system. Now let's talk about body fluid tonicity. Three terms, hypotonic, isotonic, and hypertonic fluid are used to compare the osmolarity of an intracellular fluid to the osmolarity of the extracellular fluid. It is important to note that the osmolarity of intracellular fluid compared to the extracellular fluid, despite of having different composition, is 300 milliosmoles per liter. When two solutions separated by a semi-permeable membrane have the same osmolarity, these solutions are called an isotonic solution. Iso means the same. In this case, we will not have water diffusion to any compartment because the water concentration in both compartments are equal. This is a steady state situation. If I take some amount of sodium and add to the extracellular fluid, osmolarity of the extracellular fluid increases, suppose from 300 up to 400 milliosmoles per liter. This solution now, I mean the extracellular fluid gives another name, hypertonic solution. Hyper means greater than another solution. Now two solutions separated by a semi-permeable membrane have different effective osmotic pressure, different osmolarity. 400 of extracellular fluid and 300 of intracellular fluid. Therefore, in comparison with extracellular fluid, the intracellular fluid will be not isotonic yet, it will be a hypotonic solution. Hypo means less. 
less tonicity or osmolarity when compared to the extracellular fluid, which now is hypertonic. In this case, the water will shift from a region of higher water concentration to a region of low water concentration, from intracellular compartment to the extracellular compartment. As a consequence, the intracellular fluid volume decreases while extracellular fluid volume increases. Intracellular fluid osmolarity increases while extracellular fluid osmolarity decreases and water diffuses until both intracellular and extracellular fluids become isotonic, meaning having the same osmolarity and until a new steady state is achieved. To sum it up, if the osmolarity of the two fluid compartments is the same, we would say that both fluids compartments are isotonic. If one of those compartments osmolarity is more than other, then the fluid of that compartment is hypertonic fluid. In comparison with this fluid, the fluid which osmolarity is less than other is called hypotonic fluid.